Hello, guys. Hello, good evening. Hello, how are you? Hello. I'm fine, teacher. I'm fine. Very good. Nice to see you again. We're going to continue, guys. And, um, teacher. Yes, Aleida. Mire, este, nos enviaron en la ficha para llenarla para el preintermedio 2 ya. Y no hemos terminado este, este. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, can you repeat your question, please? Sorry. Este, que ya nos enviaron las fichas para el preintermedio 2. Uh -huh. Este, pero no hemos terminado este. Y será que lo tenemos que enviar justamente hoy, porque lo envían así de pronto. Mm, entiendo que lo han enviado así, porque ya estamos a una semana de terminar. Ajá. Y este, para evitar, eh, no sé si se acuerdan al principio. Lo que pasó. Un gran, ajá, un gran, eh, una gran confusión y que, pues, bueno, fue terrible. Entonces, creo que lo han hecho para eso. Eh, mi recomendación es que lo puedan enviar tan pronto como puedan, ¿verdad? Así evitamos que vuelva a pasar lo que, pues, ya pasó. Y también... Eh, aseguramos de que el, eh, el curso comience muy tarde, temprano, ¿verdad? O sea, que, que no se tarde tanto. Ok. Entonces, sí, sería bueno. Eh, Ivette, Brenda, Ivette. Sí, solo quería decirle a la compañera de que la, ahí en la indicación decía que poder entregarlo durante las 24 horas. Ajá, entonces, es que yo no pude imprimir, entonces quería ver si, si alguien me indicaba cómo lo podía hacer en la computadora o no se puede digitar acá. Sí, sí se puede hacer en la computadora, si quieres te voy a escribir un mensaje para... Sí, para, vaya. Eh, ajá, Perfecto, bye. se lo agradezco, gracias. Gracias, Sorry, Brenda. No, 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 tengo no, una no. pregunta. Yes. Este, hoy por la tarde hubo una reunión, ¿verdad? Pero yo no leí el mensaje a tiempo, yo, yo bueno, yo la verdad hasta después lo vi, porque entre tantos mensajes que estaban enviando de la tarea, uh -huh. o sea, el mensaje quedó atrás. Y cuando vine a ver, la reunión había sido a las cuatro y eran las cinco. Entonces, no sé sobre qué fue la reunión. Eh, yo tampoco logré estar por cuestiones de trabajo. Eh, eran las cuatro, era a las cuatro. Entonces, a esa hora sí se me hizo un poco difícil. Eh, tampoco logré estar, no sé, alguien... Tal vez le da retroalimentación a la compañera porque pues yo no logré estar tampoco. Entiendo que pues esa reunión fue a solicitud de ustedes, ¿verdad? Fernanda. No, yo no estuve porque yo estaba trabajando y hasta acá acabo de leer el mensaje. Sí, yo me pude conectar un rato y creo que lo más rescatable de la reunión eh, fue referente a es verdad, las inscripciones de los módulos y que pidió a Leida que se enviaran las fichas con tiempo para no atrasar el comienzo, ¿verdad? Porque eh, mencionaba Isel que vamos a iniciar el módulo siguiente, o sea, inter preintermedio 2, el 13. Es decir, terminamos el 9 y al parecer comenzamos 13. Entonces, para no retrasar los inicios, es que se envíen con tiempo las fichas. Y eh, veremos también si después de ese preintermedio 2, pues se aperturaba el preintermedio 3, 3 por cuestión de tiempo, respecto a lo, a lo que le han pedido a ella, ¿verdad? Que el, para el 30 de noviembre se ha entregado, entiendo yo, toda la documentación por el proceso que va a sufrir Insafor al pasar eh, a ser incorporado como del, del gobierno, ¿verdad? 
Entonces, eso creo yo que es lo, como lo más rescatable en cuanto a lo de las fichas, para que se las envíen con tiempo. Ah. Ok. Gracias. Gracias, Gracias. Fernanda. Sí, eh, eso también hay que tenerlo muy en cuenta, chicos, que eh, ya creo que es el, el contrato, entiendo yo, es hasta noviembre. Entonces, he eh, ahí la quizás la, la labor de ella de, de quererlo hacer rápido, porque en novi eh, bueno, ustedes irían a preintermedio 2, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso, eh, bueno, son 20, 20 días en los cuales mm, se tienen que acomodar a ver cómo eh, se dan del 13 al no sé cuánto de noviembre. Entonces, sí es importante que pues eh, logren mandar eso a tiempo por esto, ¿verdad? Porque después diciembre ya no, no se va a dar hasta en enero que pues probablemente sean algunas eh, instrucciones a lo mejor diferentes o a lo mejor son iguales, entonces estamos esperando eso. Así que pues mi consejo es que puedan mandarlo a tiempo, ¿verdad? En lo que pues dice las instrucciones para que pues eh, entre más personas lo manden, mejor porque si van a hacer un grupo y no se van a atrasar. ¿Verdad? Porque el intermedio 3, preintermedio 3 estaría para, si todo continúa normal, para hasta en enero. Entonces tendrían un lapso de más o menos un mes sin actividad. ¿En enero? Sí, se vuelve a retomar en enero porque la... Preintermedio 3, Aleida. Ah, 30. Okay. Uh -huh. Sí, porque, eh, bueno, el preintermedio 2 sería, eh, bueno, el 13, como decía la compañera Fernanda, hasta pues... Eh, a mediados, me imagino, de noviembre. Entonces, de ahí terminan ustedes y se quedan hasta en enero esperando indicaciones porque <coughs> entiendo que de enero a noviembre es el contrato, ¿verdad? Que maneja Insafor con, pues, la academia. Pero, como les decía, me imagino, según lo que dicen, no va a sufrir mayores cambios, ¿verdad? Solo me imagino que el nombre o no sé pero según entiendo no, no va a ser así tan abrupto, pero pues hay que esperar uh -huh. hasta en enero um, cuando ya esta institución nueva entre de lleno a trabajar con eh, estos programas, ¿verdad? Porque hasta donde tengo entendido, en enero va, llega hasta diciembre en Safor y ya en enero ya es eh, esa Una institución. Uh -huh. Entonces, hay que esperar en enero a ver qué, qué nos dicen, vea qué indicaciones, si son las mismas, si son nuevas, o qué cambios van a haber. Entonces hay que esperar hasta en enero. Por eso les decía que el intermedio 3 quedaría hasta en enero, pero pues eh, sujeto a las indicaciones que nos indiquen, valga la redundancia, eh, en ese momento, en enero. Así que y creo que por el momento... Te... Y faltarían Ay, muchos más todavía, ¿verdad? Después del preintermedio 3 faltan todavía. Sí, pero sería de quizás ahorita enfocarnos en tratar de enviar la, la documentación a tiempo y pues el intermedio 2, que sí es seguro que va para este año, ¿verdad? que sería el ah, último. Okay. Luego el intermedio 3, es, como les digo, es de esperar. Es de esperar el otro año a ver qué. Después de que ustedes terminen el intermedio 2, así, vacation smooth, ahí ustedes piensen en el pan con chumpe, ya no piensen en más nada. Ay, pero se nos va a olvidar todo. Eso sí. Eh, pueden hacer grupos de WhatsApp para practicar. Para practicar, siempre, ¿verdad? Estén viendo cosas en inglés, películas en inglés, programas en inglés, leyendo una que otra cosa en inglés, porque eso los va a tener activos para que no vengamos en, en enero otra vez, ¿verdad? Así que, sí. Gracias, Fernanda, por el feedback. Ok, we're going to continue, guys. We're going to continue. Um, I received the majority of the homework, but there are some, well, Paul sent it before the class, and yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to... Mm -hmm. I'm going to update that because, yeah, I had the majority. 
but I didn't have four. So I'm going to update that. Um, uh, we're going to continue. Oh, alguien más la mandó después de mí, teacher. I'm sorry? Alguien más la mandó después de mí. Mm, okay, I'm going to check. Yeah, because I, um, I check at four. That was the last, the last time I checked. Yes, Néstor. Yo ayer hice la tarea, pero este había una sección donde tenía que hacer las oraciones negativas. No, oh, sí, yo creo que en esa fue. Y las hice, pero yo estoy 100% seguro que estaban bien, pero me aparecían incorrectas. Entonces le tomé captura para mostrárselas si, si me da permiso. Ok, ya, yes, go ahead. Eh, yo también tengo el mismo problema, eh, pero yo no le tomé captura. Lo que sí es que las puse en español en, en positivo y ahí se me las tomaba como, como correctas. Afirmativas. Sí, todas sí. se ponen afirmativas, me dijeron, porque yo sí. negativas las hacía y todas eran malas. Ah, Ese era el problema, afirmativas. yo las hice como tres veces contractadas y de distintas formas negativas, porque eso es lo que decía la... Sí, Pablito, pero, pero eran, eran positivas para que saliera sí, bueno. Sí. De, después me corrigieron, pregunté ah, y me dijeron que... Estas, ajá. Gracias. Mm -hmm. It says make me a negative sentences using to be going to. Ajá, entonces no, no sé. Estas que me aparecen todas en rojas, no entiendo por qué, Ticha. Tiene que ponerlas todas positivas. Bueno, en ese caso quizás hay un error en, eh, en la instrucción, porque ahí dice que tienen que hacer las negativas. Negativo. Uh -huh. Make negative sentences using to be going to. Uh -huh. Y se corre not going to sleep. Entonces, no sé si puedo, si vuelvo a mandar la, la tarea porque me quedo a seis. Sí, sí. Cuando yo pasé la nota me quedé así como que, ok. Sí, lo puede volver a hacer y me la manda. Y así corregimos. Ok, teacher, muchas gracias. Ok, you're welcome. Ok, very good. We're going to continue, guys. Ok. okay. Um, remember that... Oh, the screenshot. Yes, the screenshot. The screenshot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know Fernanda is like... Mm. No me avisaron, but yeah, I just took it. Sorry, I just took it. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Yes, sorry guys, I took it. Okay. <clears throat> um, so yesterday, the topic of yesterday was a little bit not clear. That's why we're going to continue with this. And the topic for today as well is well, the topic for today is not difficult, but yeah. Okay, so we're going to, well, this is the last class of week four. Tomorrow we'll start with, I mean, week, um, no, this is week three, sorry. Week three, class five. And tomorrow we're going to continue with week four, okay? Very good. So since you said or you were mentioning yesterday that it was a little bit confusing, and yes, I know it's a little bit confusing. I'm going to um I'm going to uh, show you some um uh worksheets and then we're going to complete it and then we are going to complete another one. Um this one you're going to complete it in, in, in pairs. And then you're going to complete the other one. We're going to complete it together. Okay. So why are we doing this in pair or in groups of three? Because I need you to analyze. Okay. Analyze. This one uh, is with can and could. Okay. So some um some exercises or some sentences are going to be with can and some others are going to be with could, okay? 
And the other one is going to be with wood. Okay, so let me see. Um, this, I'm going to paste this uh, link in the chat. I'm going to uh, make the groups or the pairs and you're going to have five minutes to do it. And then you're going to send me the, the screenshot of the result, okay? Very good. So this is in, in, in pairs. It's in pairs because I need you to, to help, to discuss, to analyze. Okay, is this or this? So I need you to, to discuss, okay? What is the correct option? What is the best option maybe? So that's why. Todavía no entren hasta que yo haga las pairs y nos vayamos a, a room, okay? So we are 29. Let's see. I think I'm going to do the 12, I think 12. Let me see with 12. We have three, 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 two. Okay. Guys, as soon as you go to the room, I need you to go to the link and start making the worship. Okay? Very good. Let's go. As soon as you finish, uh, you need to take screenshot of your work. Take screenshot. Don't forget to take screenshots. Oops. Screenshot of your results. Very good. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Sara, I need you to write your name with last name. Oneida, in which group were you? Hi, teacher. Hello. In, in my group, I only, me and I alone. Oneida, okay, let's see. Do you, oh. Room number six. I'm going to move you to room number seven, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Sara. Go to the rooms, guys. Okay.
Hello, Catherine. Did you finish? Oh, oh no, I, I had problems with my senior. And I. What was your group? Eight. Okay. I'll send you to that group. How do you put that, Diana? It is a effect of Zoom. Effect of Zoom? Yes. Mm. Like a background? Let's see. Um, it is a uh, avatar. Oh, it's an avatar. Oh, okay, okay. Let me try it. Mm. Oops. An avatar. So, oh, choose avatar. Oh. Hmm. Let's see. I need to create it, right? Yes. Yeah, because it's just animal. 
So, no. And, okay. That's nice. Yeah, I'm just putting that background. I think. <laughs> okay, very good. So, yeah, I will try later. Okay, very good. Yeah, I want an avatar. Okay, everybody ready, right? Let me close the rooms. John, 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 John. Just, oh, room 10, says Sara. Sara, did you send the, the screenshot? Uh, nobody sent the screenshot yet. Uh, we I, have to send the screenshot here. I lost it. We sent it in the, in the WhatsApp chat. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, you're saying now. Ah, oh, okay, okay. I sent uh the screenshot for room chain, but I had to to put uh the to the part to ninety five. Okay, very good. Ninety five. Okay. I send you. I say at this moment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Aleida. 95 as well. Very good. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oops, where is it? Yeah, I'm going to, uh, you tell me, I'm going to choose the correct answer based on what you said, okay? So, penguins can or could? Can. 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 Very can. good. They can, right? It's present. Can. I could. could. I could. Could, mm. could or can? Could. 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 Are you I sure? Very fast when I yes. get stronger. Exactly. It's snowing, so we go out now. Who can? Can. 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 Okay. Yesterday we couldn't. Couldn't. Very good. You play the piano when you were seven. Could could, 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 could you play the piano right in past? Yes. You have a, a nice tricycle. Can you write it? Can. 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 Can you write it? Very good. And here we have oh the climb with Mr. Momoa. Okay. He has a broken <laughs> leg. So he can 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 or couldn't can 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 I can go out yes for can. so he has a broken can. leg so he can't okay because he has his presence um sleep last night I couldn't. Called student, right? Fast. We came as fast as we could. 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 Why are you crying? Is there something I can do? I can do for you. Very good. Sorry. My gosh, it's this one. So let's check. Okay. Yeah. Very good. We have 100. Yay. Okay. Excellent. Now, let's go to the second activity. In this case, it's with would. Because this one was with could and can, right? Because it's past and present. 
But in this case, we're going to practice about wood. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, this is the model verb wood. Today we're going to uh, talk about another topic that is not models, but it's infinitive. So yes. Okay, very good. So let me present it. Chan, 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 chan. There you go. Okay, so this is um quiz, wood quiz. So the first one says, I knew he would famous one day. B. B. Exactly. B. Recuerda que dijimos ayer que eh, el would y el could, la mayoría de veces es con el verbo base form. B. He said that he will too. He will The first one. The first one, right? He would. Esta es la forma contractada de he would. Yes. He said that he would help me. En este caso, no usamos el to. No uh, usamos which, el to. Which is the pronunciation, teacher? His. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. En este okay. caso, con, con, eh, con eh, verbos modales, no usamos el to. No okay. lo usamos, okay? So it's the first one. I asked him to walk faster, but... No. Walt? Wooden. Wooden. Wooden, of course. Okay, I asked him to walk, to walk faster, but he wouldn't at first. Let's see. As children, we will play, 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 play together every day. Nobody knew that one day he will be rich. He will be. Exactly. Would. Recuerde que would es terminación ia. If you ask me, I will. I would I... say you were crazy. I'd, 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 I'd. Will you? Like, 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 exactly. Do you like to go? Yes. If it is to eat pupusas, mm -hmm. uh, of course. <laughs> Do you think he'd help? I'm sure. <sighs> he helped. Yeah. He helped. He helped. He helped. He said, Konochi. Okay, he, he yeah. would. Well, in this case, we have the, the two ones this and this. He would. Okay, this one. He, he would. would. Right. I'm sure he would if you ask. He would. But, teacher, in this one, in the number eight, uh, we, we have to use would because it's a kind of a strong the contraction with the if. Yeah, he, 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 I don't know how to I'm pronounce. sure he'd, if you asked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, kind of a, a little bit weird. Yeah. Exactly. So that's why we have to use we would. If exactly. You ask. Okay. Mm -hmm, exactly. Um, He would to be improving. He would be improving. Theme without S, right? No S. Very good. We want to play tennis. I wish. It will. It will. It will. Very good. So let's check. 
Lisa in this. Uh huh. And yeah, this would. he would to know wouldn't play. Would. Okay, I think we're ready. Chan 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 chan. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Zero percent. <laughs> yes, one hundred percent. We did it. Like Dora. No. We did it. Yeah, Dora says, uh, lo hicimos. We did it. Bot and boots. <laughs> yeah, Zorro, no se le lleve. Okay, very good, guys. Do you have any question now? We're going to do another um Me too. activity, okay? But do you have any question now? Yes, how identify when use would with two or no with two? We don't use two with wood. Don't we use. don't use. No, we don't use. You cannot say I could too. It's the same as can. You cannot say I can too. We don't use. We don't use. With cool? With can? And after that? Bird. With could? With would? With will? You cannot use too. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. You cannot I use. make a, a request or ask, ask something? In that case, if it is a request, I would like, I would like to, mm -hmm. and then yes. But uh -huh. before, before, uh, like. yeah, before like, but okay. you cannot use like, I will too. You cannot use the wool and the two together. Oh, okay. It has to be uh, with another verb. Oh, okay. Thank okay. you. You're Did welcome. You? Yeah, it depends also, depends on if it is a request, if it is a condition, as we mentioned yesterday, if it is um like these examples, okay? It depends. But most of the time, if it is a request, yes, right? And depending on the verb also. Another question. Um, teacher, but when you use the verb with the... I and ye. because yesterday I, I understood that you can you can you need to use the I and ye when you use wool. For example, wool you sharing, but uh, today in the oh, example okay. you okay. use wool you help without an I and ye. Yes. Um. Yesterday, Erica, we use ing because of the verb mind. Would you mind sharing? Mm -hmm. Would you mind uh, giving me? In that case, yes. In that case is ing because we use mind. But if you don't use mind, no ing. Okay. Okay, thank you. Paul. Okay. Oh my God. Se puso dura la cosa. Sorry, sorry. It was my cat. Ah. Yo estaba así como, ¿le doy mute o no? Yo quiero, yo quiero saber el chambre. Mi gato anda siguiendo una mariposa aquí. Ah. Y se subió al techo. Y ya me iba a caer encima de la tabla. Oh, my God. Sorry. No problem. Ponga en cintura ese gato. Enséñale el cincho. Ok. No, no maltrato animales, chicos. No, 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 no. It was a joke. Ok. Aquí acaban de matar uno y ahí están llamando a la policía. A what? A un perro, a una, una moto. Y como es residencial y no es calle, la están llamando a la policía. Hay problema. Aquí. Oh, aquí. my God. No, pero o sea, también. Qué barbaridad, mataron a mi malito. 
No, si tienen mascotas ahora tengan muchísimo, muchísimo cuidado porque la ley está, pero súper, súper estricta con el maltrato animal. Se sí. lo digo yo que ahora tuvimos un problema con mi perro y no sabemos cómo vamos a solucionar esa cosa. <risa> porque si sí, realmente ahora está preso, se lo están llevando y los condenan por cinco años. Si no les ponen multa de miles de dólares. Be careful. Yo lo que sí estoy de acuerdo es en que penalicen, eh, por ejemplo, la gente, porque aquí pasa bastante, penalicen la gente que no recoge, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Ahí las sí. cositas de los perritos. Porque a veces uno va a la carrera, y ya me ha pasado, y ¡pum! Pisa, entonces hay que ir a cambiarse los zapatos. Eso sí creo que está bien, pero sería de ver también las otras cosas. No sé. Cinco años, por eso no sé. O sea, sí los animalitos son seres vivos que sienten, pero bueno. Ok. El teacher que siento que demasiado están humanizando a los animales. Es cierto, tienen derecho, no hay que maltratarlos. Yeah. Pero, o sea, hay veces rayan en el extremo. Sí. I mean, dependen. Ajá. Porque tampoco estoy de acuerdo que, porque hay gente que sí se pasa, ¿verdad? Que van en la calle y los dejan como que son stickers a los pobrecitos. No, 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 tampoco. Ajá, eso es, es ser, ser bárbaro, pero, ya, yeah, maybe it's a little bit, yeah, too much. Well, anyway. Sorry. Sorry for what happened. Ah, uh, no problem. ¿Ya los hinchaste? No, I'm kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sí, 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 una gatita de un año. Que jode más oh. que saber Paul, oh, your words. Sorry, but it's rough. <laughs> okay. Yeah, cats are, are, are cute. I like cats. They're very cute. Five. I got five cats. My God. My mom has 18. Santo yeah. Cristo. Yeah, 18. But she lives in, in, in Chalatenango. It's in the countryside. Mm. So yeah. yeah, she has like 18. I have four cats. I got four, five, but those are not sterilized. Oh, okay. Yeah, in the case of my mom, it's impossible because 18, and all of them are in the, in the, in the ceiling. So it's yeah, it's a lot. When it's time for eating, all of them come down from the from the ceiling, and they are like uh, asking for food. It's it's a lot. It's a lot. And 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 also, like the the cherry on top, como para más pregar, the cats from the neighbors <laughs> go there. <laughs> and because my mom gives them food, so they stay there. Uh -huh. so the more and more and more. Yeah, Teacher. that's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, it was so cute. Oh. Oh. What is the name? María Mechuda. Very, very creative. Very creative. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, guys. Okay, María Mechuda. That's a good one. Okay, guys. So, let's continue. Um, we are going to use, uh, well, could or would, I will write should because we didn't study. I mean, we may know about it, but since we didn't study, when the answer is should, I will write it, okay? Okay. So let's do it. Choose the correct word to complete the sentence. I make cookies this afternoon. Which one? 
So we use could to could. talk about I something could. that can happen. Uh, we could. use could, could for could. Um, could. to talk about something that will happen in an imagined situation, or we use should to talk about something that has to happen or must happen. So which one? I could. I could. Okay, could. let's see. I could make the cookies first. this afternoon. Mm. Oh, teacher. Hmm, I'm not sure about could. I, I should. Do. Uh, do. Okay, let's do the second one and then we're going to see. You clean that baby up. You should. Should, yes, because yes. it's like a recommendation, right? You, you should. should, you should, okay, you should. It's okay. a recommendation. Yes. I call you, but I won't have my phone. I will. I could, could. I, could. I could call you, but yeah, could, could. I could call you. Um, but I won't have my phone. If I were rich, ah, this is easy. Well, I would exactly. I would. I win the Olympics if I were an athlete. I could. I could. I could. I could. C o u l d. Could. could. I could or could. I would. Could. Could. I could. Could. I could. I could. I could win the Olympics, but yes, something happens. With my grades, go to college. I could go. Okay, go. I could go. I could go. What about the first one? Should. Sure. Okay, uh, I... I should make cookies this afternoon. Mm. I could. Uh, I, I could. Would. I could. It will because it's about something. I but could. It must I happen. It will happen. I, I may. Okay, so I should, right? Because it, maybe you can do it. Um. It's so. Not... Podría pasar. Okay. I should make cookies this afternoon. Yeah, I think that is the better option because I could. Recommendation. Yeah. I could. I could. It's I a should. possibility. I would is an imaginary. So, haría. No, we'll know. Could. I could, yeah, I could. Maybe could, but I think should is the best one because I should make cookies this afternoon. So maybe it happens. If I have all the ingredients, uh, maybe it, I should. It sounds uh, like a question. With should? Well, yeah. In that case, it will say, should, uh, should I? No, yes, but the structure is different. But um, uh -huh, Yeah. Um, I should make cookies this afternoon. Okay. I could make. I think both. Both can be correct. Okay, let's continue. And there are two more. Uh-huh. It can be should, could, or would. You really <laughs> should study no. more. Should. Yes, no. Sure, sure, because it's something that you must do. We know something by the end of the day. Should. We should. We should know something. Okay. Yeah, we could. Ooh. No, should. Very yeah, because nice. could, oops. Uh, because could podríamos podríamos hacer algo al final. Mm, I think that it can be could as well. 
But we should. Deberíamos. Yes, I guess it's should. Mm -hmm. Should. Should. No, should. Should is another thing. Should. It's a condition. Should. <laughs> yeah, should. No, no, should. Should. Okay. should. Yeah, should is another thing. They have uh, they have that word in 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 the United States, in the malls, in the in the schools. Should, but it's should. Yes, Daniel. Este, una pregunta. Eh, entonces, should vendría a ser como un deber, algo que se tiene que exactly. hacer sí o sí, una obligación. Exacto. Oh, okay. Pero, teacher. También lo podríamos utilizar como para dar una sugerencia. Exacto. You should do that. Uh -huh. uh, suggestion or uh, something that you must do. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Suggestion or like you should study more. That is a suggestion. But um, if you said um, I should do this. For example, I mean, yeah, it can be a suggestion if someone uh, tells you, or if you uh, if you think, okay, I should exercise. For example, that is a, a responsibility, right? But it depends. If someone <laughs> says that to you, or if you think about it, it can be either a suggestion or something that you must do. Okay. Very good. We're going to watch this video, guys. This is another topic. Uh, do you have any question about would and should? Eh, mi recomendación es que el video que, lo vi que vieron ayer lo puedan volver a ver y pues tratar de hacer más eh, sentences, ¿verdad? No, no se vayan tanto a la estructura avanzada como los condicionales porque eso sí se ve después sino que traten de más que todo usarlo en pasado, ¿verdad? En pasado, eh, también la estructura de request, ¿verdad? Eso también es, es, es bastante aplicable para este módulo, pero pues los condicionales y el pasado participio y todo eso, déjenlo para después porque eso lo van a ver después. No sé si en el siguiente módulo o en el 3. ¿Verdad? Porque eso sí ya está más para un, un nivel un poquitito más avanzado, ¿ok? Eh, pero sí traten de hacerlo lo más básico que se pueda para que pues, ya ustedes tengan también la idea. ¿Ok? Very good. Let's watch this video. Ok. Watch the video and when you finish, please uh, thumb up. Okay, I finished, miss. What link? This is the link. Okay. That is a new topic, guys. Significa conectarnos a tus proyectos y tus sueños. Por eso seguimos innovando e invirtiendo. Y por tercer año consecutivo, nos han reconocido como... Please mute the microphone.
when you finish, show me a thumb up or let me know in the chat. Okay, Jennifer Chamu says finish. Very good. Very good, Freddy, Daniel, Fernanda, finish. Very good. Excellent. Okay, one minute more for the ones still watching the video. Okay, Paul says done. Very good. Yep. Very good. Okay, let's continue then. So um, the topic that we're going to start today because we're not going to finish, right? Is ask and tell, infinitive. So I know that we already know ask, the verb ask and the verb tell, right? Ask and tell so uh, certain verbs can be followed by an infinitive what is an infinitive is the verb two. that get yeah that have to for example i want get a good grade in my english class in this case uh, want is the verb followed by the infinitive also, well, we are going to focus only in two verbs, okay? Hay más, pero solo nos vamos a enfocar en ask and tell. This no, but it's also a verb that can be followed by an infinitive and advice as well. But we're going to focus only in ask and tell. So in this case, this one. This is in the past, right? Remember that tell, tell is the present and toll is the past. Very good. So I told her or I told her to go to bed. I told her to go to bed. So we have the verb. We have the object. This is the object pronoun. 
And then we have the infinitive and the complement. Let's see. What is the structure based on the video? The verb plus object. This is the object. And then the infinitive. And then the complement, right? So we have he asked her to wash the clothes. He Okay, asked, this is in past because the action happened, the past, mm -hmm. and then we have the object. This is the object pronoun, okay? What are the object pronouns? Do you remember? Okay. Object, <laughs> oops, object pronoun. We have um, here. His, our, use, their, your, my, or in this case, I think it's mine. Right. Okay. Um. Here, his, our, their, your, your, sorry, use. Your. Okay. Those are object pronouns. Okay. He use. asked. Um, no, I think oh, oh. in this case is me, I think. He asked me. Yeah, in this case is me. Me. The object pronoun is me. The possessive. In this is case sure. is him. Um uh, he asked. In this case is us. Okay. In this case is them. He there asked you. Yeah, Your, you. It's only you. Mm -hmm. It's only you. And then me. These are the objects. No, uh, don't get confused with the... Um, possessive. The possessive, yes. These are objects, object pronouns. So here, him, us, them, you, and me. He asked me. He asked you. He asked them. He asked us. He asked him. He asked her. Okay, so these are the object pronouns. So he asked her, this is the infinitive, to wash the clothes. Okay, so as you can see, this is the infinitive. Why? As Paul was saying, because we use to. To and the verb in base form. So the same happened with tell. We have the object pronouns, which are this one, and then the infinitive, right? She told her to calm down. She told him to go shopping. We told you to um, relax. I don't know. So dependent. Um, of course, this um uh, we are using this in past, right? So we're using this in past because it's an action, but I can say um I tell Aleida to participate. You can say in, in present or in past, depending the action. Okay, any question? Okay. Yeah, uh, we are going to use this structure, this kind of speech, when we are talking about a third person. For example, why my mother asked to my sister or what a teacher asked to a classmate. Okay. When we uh, are my... talking about one, some people ask or tell another people. It can be third person or it can be first Someone. person. Mm -hmm. oh, you can okay. say I asked. You cannot say two, right? I asked. Uh, I asked him, you to do something. Uh, I asked him who to go to take the dog out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I asked him. It's in past, sure. right? In the platform. In the platform, uh, is similar or not? He asked or tell. 
for example, um, uh, one example, the, the platform, um, <clears throat> for example, you you tell that you tell that uh, the teacher, uh, for example, it's not. It's you not tell. Simple. Uh, what was the example, please? Again, example. Say, um, you tell, you tell that Naomi, uh, the barbecue is on Sunday. Mm. Do it's you have it there? Easy. You tell Naomi, the Naomi. barbecue is on Sunday. That, that. Naomi, that. Oh. In that case, yes, you can use tell. I tell that or um, he told that um, the exam was yesterday, for example. You can use that, but in this case, you can use, well, we're using tell, but you can use say as well. She said that the exam was on Monday or, or was yesterday, um, or he told that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is one structure and the one that you said in the platform is another structure. In that oh. case, you're using that, that. Is that is like a a connector. That is is connecting the verb with the rest of the sentence. Uh, teacher, that uh is when it's like we a connector. Use, yes, but we don't have to use uh, object pronouns when we use that. Mm, Dependent. Okay, let me uh, search for more uh, examples, okay? For this one, for uh, tell. Hold on. Examples. Okay, for example. Um, I mean, yes, you can use. For example, it says, um, he told me that... He liked to live in London. He told me that. En ese caso no vamos a usar el infinitive, ¿verdad? He told me that he liked to live in London. Mm, or they told John that the taxi will arrive soon. So in that case, um, the let me see here. In that case, the structure is the subject plus tell or ask plus object plus that plus the complement. Okay, let me share again because I was writing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here. So. This is the structure based on, on, on this other example. Uh, subject plus tell or ask plus object pronoun and that, for example. Uh, Fernanda told me or told him, him it can be Pablo, it can be Paul, it can be anybody. So Fernanda told him that the teacher will or will take the screenshot, okay? So Fernanda told him that the teacher will or will uh, take the screenshot. Or Fernanda uh, told him that she liked uh, to eat pupusas every Friday, something like that. 
right? So it depends on what you're saying. But yes, you can use that. You can use that as well with ask and with tell. Also with say. For example, um, a lady that can say, um, teacher, I'm hungry, for example. I will say, Aleida said that she was hungry. I can repeat, right? In that case, um, one usage is that I'm going to repeat what someone else said. Aleida said that she is hungry. Or Aleida said that she was hungry. That is like to re-say, re-say something something that someone else said right yeah. something similar happened with told or tell okay very good me dijo que um yeah ella dijo o ella eh, yeah ella dijo que pam 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 mm -hmm. okay exactly sure is this uh, this topic is similar or the same like a uh, reported speech? That is reported speech. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, think... yeah. Reported speech is when you report what someone else said. Okay. Yes. Brenda asked if that was reported speech, or uh, Brenda told me. Uh, or Brenda asked me that uh, the topic was report speech, for example. Okay, I'm repeating what Brenda said. In this case, only study the, the present and past because it's more extensive, that topic in other times, in other tense. Mm -hmm, exactly. Just past and present. Most okay. of the time, reporter speech are used in past. Most of the time, because you repeat what someone said in the past, right? So, uh huh. Well, we're going to focus, guys, in well, in these two structure, in this one, and also using that. Okay. So, can you give me one sentence using as? We can use it with that or without that. It's up to you. Uh huh. One sentence. It can be with that or without. My mother told me that I have to do my homework that I have to. exactly you have to do your homework Can be. okay so my mother told me that I had to do my homework since we're talking about past also this needs to be in past another oh, okay. one yeah thank you Paul it can another be one his mother his mother asked him that he that he should to do, do to do his homework that, do this do his is homework. one this is one a one option his mother asked him to do his home okay. okay yeah his mother asked him to do his homework that is a one uh, option another one Uh-huh, another one. Pablo is very thoughtful. <laughs> yes, I was thinking in a sentence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, my father my father told me that he was tired. Exactly. That he was tired. Yeah, we are mm. tired and it's Tuesday. Uh -huh, another one. Isela told us 
that we have to send the pictures. Told us that, that way, very good. We have to send, to send the information, yeah. the information or the in, 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 uh, information for the next module. Mm -hmm. He said that told us that we had to send the information for this for the next module. Exactly. Very good. Another one. Uh huh. Erica. Erica wants to participate. Daniel. Eh, Diana, maybe. Fernanda, maybe. Edwin, maybe. Jennifer Chamul, maybe. Uh huh. If my mother told me that I had to do my breakfast. Okay. She told me that I, well, she is my mother, right? I had to make my breakfast. Breakfast. Okay, very good. Who else? Um, uh, Walter, my... you need to participate, Walter. Walter, um, where are you? Teacher, me, I guess. Yeah, okay, Pablo, excellent. Pablo, tell me. Okay, I will try. Uh, my mother asked to me, asked to me, if uh, no, I can. Asked, asked me. Me. Mm -hmm. Asked me if I go to the supermarket for a meal. In this case, uh, if is uh, what? What is if? If I can turn. If is a condition. 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 Exactly. And what happened with the condition? I can use could or would, Ooh. right? Yeah. So yeah. my mother asked me if I could go to the supermarket for meal. The last one, maybe Marta. Teacher, I can say he he told me that I had I had to wash my uh, in car. Exactly. He told me, or yeah, he told me that. He told um, me that I had I had to wash the car, for example. Wash the car. Oh, he asked me to wash the car. That is another option. Yeah. yeah. He, he told me, me that I had to wash the car, or he asked me to wash the car. It's the same. But I mean different okay. uh different structure, but it's the same message, right? The last one, alguien que no haya participado. Me, 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 me. Diana. Diana with the avatar. My friend told me that I need to pay more. Uh, my friend told, told me, me that, that I need to paint more. Paint more. To paint. Yes, more. More, okay. Yes, my friend told me that I need or that I needed, in this case, that I needed to paint more because it's bad. My friend told me that I needed to paint more. Very good, excellent. Any question? Um, I think that we're going to continue. Well, we're going to focus uh, with the structure of that tomorrow but also with the structure of infinitive. Es importante que usted sepa las dos, ¿verdad? Tanto eh, con el in, in, infinitive, que es el usando el to, y también eh, usando el that, ¿verdad? Eso lo vamos a hacer mañana también, para que pues usted sepa que no solo es una estructura, sino que también estamos eh, usando el infinitive, ¿ok? Any question? Yeah. Two questions. Two questions. 
The first mm -hmm. one, you should take the screenshot, the last one. I should take the screenshot. I like that. He's using a mobile verb. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I'm going to. And the second one, we, we're going to use that when we are using tell, right? When you're when you're using tell, yes. Yeah. And we can yes. use uh, that when we are using ask. I get it. Mm. Entendí. <laughs> o sea, yo entendí mm. que ocuparíamos el that eh, cuando estamos utilizando el verbo tell o todo. Exacto. Eh, tell y and no say. Lo ocuparé, ¿eh? Pero cuando ocupamos ask, no ocupamos el that. El tú. Es el tú. Ocupamos el tú. Uh -huh. ah, sí, okay. bueno, con ambos usted puede usar tú, o sea, el, el infinity. Uh -huh. Pero el, el tell se usa más que todo con, eh, con that. Ajá, pero en sí el tema pues eh, iba con el infinity, ¿verdad? Pero también mañana, como sale en la plataforma el that, también lo vamos a practicar ambas. Porque si usted se fija, el, el tema es eh, ask and tell infinity. Quiere decir que pues hay que usar el to. Pero eh, sí. también sale en la plataforma el uso del that. Entonces quiero también eh, que practiquemos mañana eso. Entonces, okay. Pero sí, eh, Paul, eh, se usa that con say y con tell. Es como... Okay. Volver a decir algo que ya dijo alguien. Por eso es que okay. se usa el that. Uh -huh. Me dijo que. Exactamente. Correcto. Okay, okay guys. Since um, I didn't say at the beginning, right now, yes. Okay, Nestor. Hiciera una pregunta. Este, no. ¿Hasta cuándo tenemos para completar toda la plataforma? Fin de semana. Gracias. Sí, el problema, Néstor, es que eh, ya el lunes, bueno, ustedes, los que estuvieron en la reunión, pues, creo que ya se dieron cuenta que sí hay que correr, ¿verdad? Porque en noviembre se termina esto y no podemos, incluso les va a decir Gisela, no sé si ya se los dijo, que no pueden estar... Eh, cancelando la clase, por ejemplo, que algo que el maestro vaya a cancelarla, no se va a poder porque eh, no pueden estar perdiendo para reprogramarse. Entonces, en el caso de que eh, dejaran de tener una clase, van a tener que hacer así como hicimos, ¿verdad? Que van a haber días en que van a tener dos horas, etc. Entonces, sí es, es un poco complicado. Daniel. Okay. Uh, yes, I have a question. Uh, uh, esta, esta oración estaría correcta. For, for example, Rodrigo told me that if I could teach him chemistry. Rodrigo asked me? No, Rodrigo told me, told that, me? that if I could teach him chemistry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're using could in past and you're using mm -hmm. told in past. Correct. Oh, you have a cat, Aleida. Yes. But that is a black cat. La negra. Yeah, negra. Okay. Okay. Y este es el negro. Oh, my God. <laughs> so you have two. Four. Four. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Very good. I'm going to take the screenshot. Maricela. Say cheese. Maricela was like this. So when I say I'm going to take the screenshot, Excellent. Very good. Very good. So, three, two, one. I'm going to take it now. Smile. Very good. Let me paste it. So, it is in 7.31. Okay, guys. So, we're going to go now. Uh, take care. Have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. See you. See Thank you. Bye Take bye. care. Bye-bye. Take care. Adios.